What is up guys? My name is Mike and this is another very special episode of Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4. We are almost done with Russia. I'm pretty sure they ain't got shit left for us. We got to take 4% more of their victory points. Central Russia. That was just an alert for nothing. They're fighting in the Baltic Sea. We're sinking their shit. 108 mostly submarines. We have the ability to do... Why don't we spend some of our points? Let's do another revision of tanks. Let's go to the... Panzer B medium tank. Create a variant. I'm going to save that. So now we have the sea level tanks. We're going to change them all over to sea level. They don't work well in mountains. But when they're at sea level, they're okay. So these are max style panzers. And we'll just um, decommission the old ones. I don't know if that actually does anything, but we're gonna do it anyway. And then these guys, um, that's right, we can't we can't do these ones. It's just tanks. Airplanes, what is this? This is air experience. Yes, we could do airplanes. Let's see. Fighter A, let's boost you even better. No, you can't, do, can't go that crazy. Um, what do we want? Less reliability. Fuck you. So this is going to be the fighter B. So we'll decommission fighter A. We'll do fighter B's. Alright, spend all that delicious experience points that we've accrued. We have air dominance everywhere. Those assholes. And we have almost taken the entire push. All my training dudes, including green recruits, just a fucking mess of humanity pushing against the borders. This is worth uh, 10 victory points. Maybe that'll be enough. That would be lovely just to end this goddamn godforsaken war. It's a complete disaster of a battle where we were actually using the Soviet tactics against them. Okay, let's pause. Was that enough? God, shit, fuck. Two more percent. The Soviet tactics of just masses of humanity overrunning the front lines against them. Because that's what they did to us, and they actually had some okay, um, some okay success doing that. Okay, so you guys... are going to do that. Just do it. I want you to take this victory point up there. You guys. That's a disaster. Push that. Actually, you know what? No, hang on. Do all your orders. Get the whole front line to yourself. And... gonna push like this that has to be more than 2% of their territory we're gonna gobble up very quickly as we advance with 109 divisions and you can see our text is shifting as we swallow up Soviet territory southern India well, that's not even me fighting Somebody fighting on my behalf. Canadians! Are those Canadians? I don't know. What does the Canadian flag look like at World War II? It's got the British with a little shield. No, this is, this is British Raj. I thought it was Canadians. They've got a little yellow thing. Surely you must be close. One more percent. One more percent. Come on. 25% or less. What fucking difference does it make? Just capitulate. You can't win, Soviets. You cannot win. 98% towards capitulation. Spain is almost there. We should push forward on Spain. We are pushing forward on Spain. There's only two divisions, though. Oh, shit. We got cut off. God damn it. Uh, select all. 
I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, they're just gonna fucking escape. <laughs> Later, bitches. They're just gonna jump on boats and get the fuck out of there. And the rest of our division is gonna sweep around. Okay. Spain is really a secondary war. They're doing well. Spain is really just kind of like a fuck you war, honestly. For joining in like assholes. Come on. There we go. Oh, shit. Is that it? That's 25% or less. Yes, that should be it. Maybe one more percent. And then you have to wait to the end of the day, I guess. Hurry up, goddammit. Says you're there. 99% towards capitulation. One more victory point should do it. Where's the nearest? It's one over here. We're getting into some pretty grim fucking territory. There's not a lot of anything of value up here. Did you not go on your plan? Maybe we'll just make a beeline. Just rush up there. As fast as humanly possible. Run, 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 run. I know you have low supplies. It's probably really fucking slow. Game's freezing. There we go. There we go. Pods. Soviet Union has capitulated. Look at that beautiful sight. Beautiful sight. Adolf Hitler has announced that the cowardly Soviet nation could no longer withstand the pressure from overwhelming presence of German forces throughout the country. Soviet government chose to flee the country and has gone into exile. Their main forces have capitulated and the Reich is now in control of their home area. Though the war with what remains of the Comintern continues elsewhere, this is a great victory for all of the Axis. Fuck yeah, bitches. Okay, so that makes me very happy. We're building a shitload of tanks. What else do we need? We need way more infantry equipment. Let's start another line of infantry equipment. Like so. We have to repair. Uh, there's going to be so much resistance everywhere. Okay. So who else needs to surrender? This war. Oh, we've gotten even more. Okay, so let's just keep um, building infantry. Assign all the new factors to infantry. So how much further? We're at 91%. I bet you if we make Spain capitulate... Yeah, so the major factions are still Spain. I bet you if we made Spain capitulate, that might force a peace conference. So maybe... So first, let's get you guys come down here. We're going to do a huge reorganization of all this. Um, Jesus. You know what? Okay. We're just going to assign... <laughs> Gee, fuck. We're assigning the whole thing here just to get him out of horrible territory. We'll get the, um, uh, the revolts down and then we'll figure out how to reorganize this afterwards. Maybe those are horrible ideas. Might be take a long time to kind of work through to fix afterwards. But we'll do that for now. Okay, so what do we want? Do we want efficiency growth or retention? I think we want retention. Okay, so we're going to do that. And then, um, okay, so let's see. We'll just grab a couple of these Battlefront dudes. Uh, like maybe Team Brown. Is that a different Team Brown? Iraqi Road Ice Cream. That's you guys. Yeah, you come down here. You come down here. I'm going to push through over here. So we're going to bring down a shitload more forces. You can just assign. Yep. You guys are going to come down. You're going to come down. And... Sure. Do that. Let's see. Assign. 
know what? Just fucking everybody. We're just going to get you to one giant clump. Almost 300 divisions. Because we need to cover a lot of land when it comes to busting some of these rebellions. So we'll just cover some more territory. Including down here. Wow. Yep. Actually it takes a second for it to load every time I click now. We will fix this and organize this later. I just want to finish off the Soviets. So we'll just honestly cover all of that. Because once they once they could pitch once the um war ends and you make all your demands, I think the resistance goes away like virtually right away. I'm still fighting. Yeah, this is like why don't we build some infrastructure there? I don't know. Why not? Okay. Are we doing anything with these guys? Another ace pilot? Nope. Yeah, so we're just dragging all these assholes down here. And then we'll create a new battlefront. Again, up to the river. Up to there. Team Swedish meatballs. You know what? Let's um. Eventually, we're gonna want to take Sweden. We'll do that. Republic of Spain has capitulated. Great news. Yes, fantastic news. Hopefully, this war. This horrible, horrible war will be over soon. We get our Swedish battle plans ready again. Still some holdouts, some assholes. Let's go fight those guys. Then fight these guys, then fight these guys, then do that. And Treaty of Urumukla. So we have... This is the treaty. So the war is over. So this this half of World War III is over. We're still fighting against the holdout allies, like the Raj and so on. Um, but can we take all of the Soviet Union? We can, with points to... No, we can't. Asshole. I didn't ask for your fucking help, Italy. You stupid idiots. Okay, so we can't take everything. It's too much. So how much do we have to take off before they'll let us take it? What is this capital over here? Jesus. I fucking fought the Soviets, dumbass. Why can't I have everything? Okay, so reset. I've got, I've got the right amount of points. What will happen if I just, you take Spain, take Mongolia, I can take everything but the Soviets? That's bullshit. All I wanted are the Soviets. You can have fucking Spain, I don't care. I can puppet it. Well, let me do that, but I don't even want to puppet it. I, I want it. I want the territory. I want everything. So they wouldn't have enough territory to take it either. So you think you get more points if you pass. So if I go pass, if you pass this turn, others will be able to use their points to make demands, but you will gain 656 extra points to spend next round. So let's just see what happens. I'm going to pass. So they took a huge fucking chunk. Damn it! No! Now what do I have to do? Like an asshole. I should have fucking taken Spain. They won't even let me take all this shit either. I 
Okay, well, we'll take what we can get. I think we're going to end up fighting fucking Italy anyway. So take all of this. Oh, we can't take Belgium yet. That's not part of the plan. Shit. This is like where all the resources were too. Those fucking assholes. Take that. Should have just taken the whole, whole western half. And let them dick around with the waste. What the fuck are we gonna do with all this garbage territory over here? Now, like an idiot, I have to click all the buttons. Well, live and learn. It's one of those things, you know, how many peace conferences do you really try? It's one of those things you wouldn't really know until you uh, played a significant number of games to kind of figure out figure out how they kind of work and what the AI is typically going to do. I like how these are just giant worthless chunks. Can I take this? No, I thought they were part of the alliance. Well, they can be inside of our territory, I guess. Or do they get puppeted? They might have gotten puppeted. Well, <laughs> at the very least, well, this is going to be a bitch to, um, oops, a bitch to defend. <laughs> but at the very least, the territory is going to be quite impressive. Okay, so in turn, and done. German Reich, okay. So we took 120, I guess we can't get too greedy. They took 33, but they took the good states. We annexed virtually everything. Did they puppet these guys? No. They're in a truce. Hmm, I thought, I thought they were part of the war. Oh well, they're gonna be a little isolated landlocked state inside of us now. I am pissed. Let's see, resources. Um. Well, no, actually, you know what? It's not so bad. They got a couple down here. We got all of this. Yeah, you know, it's not so bad. And if at some point we're going to go to war against Italy for being dickholes, then we can always take that back. So, yeah, it's okay. It is what it is. Okay, so let's see resistance. So there should be no more resistance in Russia, which is good. Which means... Uh... I think I probably now regret <laughs> combining all these guys for convenience to bust up all the all the revolutions. Let's figure everything else out. So we've got to load more dockyards. Well, 12 more. So you'll build, surprise, surprise, submarines. Submarines. Let's deselect you. And I want all the submarines to come to here. Submarines come here. Here. Okay, so all the submarines are going to come here. Get a load of that. We captured a ton more factories. What do we need desperately? We need rockets. We need mechanized. We actually need tanks now. So we need just a little bit of everything. So we'll build... Um, start with rocket artillery. Like so. And then medium tank C. The C level tanks. We'll do that. National focus. Well, I don't think we need any more national focuses. I'm not sure why that popped back up. I guess we'll do that one. Why not? Be against the communists who essentially no longer exist. That seems like a good policy to enact. What is this? How do we lose Baghdad? Or Iraq. Hmm. Oh. I'm not sure what happened. It looked like it was a different color, like somebody had invaded. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, okay, we've got to 
do some serious organization here, but I may just do that between episodes to save you guys hours and hours and hours of just clicking and dividing up these divisions again. We'll get back to sanity very shortly when it comes to busting up all of these revolutions, all these resistors and so on. In the meantime, maybe we should just focus on down here. So you guys, you know what? I don't give a shit. Just go. We outnumbered them tremendously. I don't see why this is such a big problem. Except for the fact that it's horrible, horrible terrain. Where's another good airfield nearby? And yeah, now what's going to happen, maybe this wasn't such a good idea, because now what's going to happen is all these guys' assholes are going to be coming up here and easily invading our unguarded, unguarded territory. But we could do the same thing. I mean, we could come around and do the same thing, I suppose. You, it's all horsemen. No, we don't want you, you're useless. Not good fighters. You guys just fucking punch through here. Jesus. Do that. Kill the shit out of them. Advanced rocket artillery. Okay, so we got more rockets. Um, what do we want now? I don't know, man. We're running out of stuff to research. I guess we'll do this. This is 1.4 years ahead, and I guess not. Engineering. Yeah, we'll do rocket silos. Whatever. What are we lacking? Oh, shit. We're lacking a ton of oil. Why? I thought we captured so much oil. Maybe the resist resistance is blowing up our oil ship. Oh, well, we'll get whatever we need from, um, from the U.S., I suppose. For the time being. I guess we are producing a lot more mechanized shit than we were before. So that kind of makes sense. Okay, random division attack. If we can just push up to this river, it works. It's going to be a lot easier out here. We just need to get past this goddamn mountain range. And then life will get a lot easier over here. I don't even want to think about the horrible losses we're taking fighting through this shit. Kill this motherfucker. Then kill this motherfucker. They're all motherfuckers. Is there Mediterranean? Fuck you. Fight this bitch. Stab the shit out of him. There. You guys, yeah. Just converge on that dude. No finesse here. We're just doing absolute brute force. Attack overwhelming numbers through the mountains. And they do not stand a goddamn chance. They're little musket shit. Bullshit. Fucking shoot him. Shoot his ass. Got a tank over here blowing him up and shit. I don't even know who the fuck this is. They're all dead. You're all dead to me. Then this war is a total clusterfuck as well. British Raj is the leader. I wonder if we... I wonder if we just totally wipe out the British Raj if they'll just give up. These assholes. Look at this shit. What the fuck is Turkey doing up here? Cool. We got something else. Uh, okay. Do that one. And then do I have to switch my production over to that? I do. Mechanized. Mechanized. Uh, I just need so much of everything. We'll catch up eventually. Especially if we're going to go to war against Italy to reclaim our rightful territories. We'll need to get organized and get our army um, divided up again properly, proper fronts, and so on. But it seems like it's not really necessary when you have this much overwhelming force. The game gets surprisingly... It's more complicated to control shit, because it just gets to be way too much stuff to keep track of, but... 
you really don't have to be efficient because you essentially have unlimited of like literally everything. Go over here. Can you can you hit here? Everybody in here? No. It's too far away. What can what can hit that? Hmm. Two two hundred airplanes. So much a lot of bullshit around here. He's gonna build shit here. Can't reach there though. I bet. Why is their territory so shit? It's not in range of anything. Just keep fighting, you assholes. If you're asking me, I swear to God, I swear to fucking God, you need to fight the U.S. by yourself. You're not going to get any help from me on that front, buddy. The U.S. is my pals. They're good people. Good old-fashioned fascists. Actually, we don't like them that much. That's okay. We'll keep continue to improve relations. They like us just plenty, though. Yeah, yeah, I know there's resistance. We're going to figure that shit out later. They're just limping away. You can't fucking hit him? What's wrong with you assholes? What are you doing? You're look looking the wrong way, you fucking idiot. Enemies over this way. Turn around. Turn around. God damn, no wonder this is such a slug. I think we just sent all the retards over here. I'm just standing on the tank and shit. Looking around like a big asshole. You guys go over here. Fucking get your ass in there. I don't know who you are. I disband your stupid cowardly face. Do crazy shit. Invade that. Do your job. You son of a bitch. Son of a slut. You whore motherfucker. Attack from all angles. These guys are camping out in the mountains. Okay, cool. Yes, we're anti-communist. That was a... Uh, when we go to war with the USSR? And befriend Turkey? Yeah, all of that seems completely pointless now. 605 days. Again, we'll hold off. Don't care. Go away. Yeah, we'll take your divisions. Low manpower once again. It considers 2 million people in reserve as low manpower. Interesting. Why do you keep wanting going backwards? There's no backwards here. There's only forwards. Only fight. No retreat. Jesus. What a slog. And these guys are just fucking cutting a huge swath through this territory. That's awesome. Let's grab, um, I don't know. I don't even know. This is such a mess. Yeah, you know what? I think I need to, um, I need to play with this for a minute and just get shit organized. Oh, well, yeah, we'll take your one division. Cheap fuckers. Yeah, I got to get my divisions organized and we need to really just, I mean, we have so much fucking manpower in the field that the Raj should just be crushed under our boot heel. It's just a matter of my personal disorganization and keeping this force going that is really killing us. So I'll do that in between. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Um, and please tune in for the next one where we will hopefully put the final touches on the allies now that we're done with the comet turn. And we'll see where we go from there. So thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll catch you next time.